welcome back guys welcome back to my channel today in this video i will do a review of game on pen display pd156 pro as usual first i will do an unboxing and let's see what's inside the package and then i will show you guys how to set up and install the drivers for the, the pen display and finally i will do a artwork and see how the pen display is working all right so let's get started remember this is a portable display so you can carry around for your office or work based on your schedule so they have added a case inside which look like made with a leather and it looks very soft and nice okay let's put it aside and this is the actual display as you can see let's open it it's a decent size this screen is 15.6 inch with standard hd size and also comes with hotkeys which we look into it in a while tablet seems very light only 1.3 kg and seems very slim only 12.5 millimeter easy to use as a portable device all right next we have the stand in here this is a stand where you can rest your tablet on also comes with how to set up the stand it's pretty easy you can change the angle of the stand based on your convenience later we will see how to adjust this latch next we have two cables in here i think one is for the power and the other one is usb actually there is only one connection to the tablet you can directly connect your tablet to your laptop or pc or there is another additional connection you can give power if the power from your laptop or pc is not enough later i will show you guys how to do that next we have this power plug they have seen all different types of power plugs so based on your country you can use whichever you like next we have the pen holder in here this pen holder is also comes with uh, additional nibs which you can find it inside the most important part is the pen styler itself last we have these additional accessories for your device they have the warranty cards and the hand protector which will come in handy when you are drawing on top of a display and also a cleaning uh, cloth for your device all right so let's set up our device and see what we can do let's first set up our stand we have one latch in here and you can open this one from the top like this and you can see there are two handles in here one short and one long you can lift them up like this both of them and in here and you can see there are latches in here all you need to do is fold the stand and make the latches rest on the handle you can get different angles by choosing different handles pretty straightforward after that you can open this latch in here in the bottom and place your tablet on top like this and we are done next step is connecting the tablet to your device you can connect in two ways number one is pretty easy you can just directly connect the power from tab to your usb and then in the same cable there is an extension which you can connect directly to your hdmi port but in some cases the tablet is flickering or there is not enough power in that case you can use the method to you can connect the hdmi port directly to your device and use the usb to connect the second cable which came with the package and from there you can connect one side to the usb and the other side goes to the power this way you will have enough power and your device will work properly i am using the second method you guys can check and see which method work for you okay i have connected my device and you can see there's only one cable in here let's switch it on if all good you will see a green light and the table is putting up all right you can see the windows logo and everything is connected nicely now let's set up the tablet you need to install the drivers first to install drivers go to game on website and in here you can go to the support and download drivers you can find all the drivers in here uh, you can filter out what drivers we want we want this one in here pd1560 and category you can choose drivers or manual our case is drivers and os is windows and in here there are two drivers i have downloaded the first one in here and it's the latest one and you can 
uh, download both and see which one is working for me for some reason second one is not working so the first one i'm using windows 10 so first one is working fine uh, i have already downloaded and installed so i'm just going to open this application in here once you open you can see the workspaces i have three displays two monitors and the tablet display so from here you can choose uh, which display you want to use as a pen uh, display you can choose the display itself or even other monitors if you choose other monitors those monitors will be duplicated into your pen display so you can draw on top of those monitors using the pen display or you can even choose the pen display as a separate monitor in my case it will be the third monitor and draw on top of it if you guys have only one monitor you can use the pen display as the second monitor and draw on top of it all right pretty simple okay so next one is the express keys express keys are these uh, short keys shortcuts basically you can uh, use the default one or you can create your own shortcuts in here using this application so based on your preference you can use them while you are drawing on the laptop so you don't have to use the keyboard you can just press one time any of these keys you can set up anything you want which is pretty useful when you are drawing in photoshop or other applications Beside these, we have these settings and you guys can save your settings and import or export. Also, you can go directly to their website with this bar. Okay. And uh, one last thing I want to show you guys in here is this uh, pen setup. You can adjust the pen pressure from in here. You can adjust the pressure with the curve. And also below, you can test your pressure by drawing on top of it. And you guys can test it for yourself and you can set up the way you want. Okay other than this you can also set up the keys on the pane you can choose a, one of these functions from the list or you even you can create your own custom function by adding the short key you want into the bar in here all right guys so that's all the important settings in here so we have set up our device all working properly now we can check how the pen display work guys this tablet has pressure level of 8192 as you guys can see in here, when I apply different pressure levels to the artwork, the stroke color and the thickness of the brush is changing. I'm just simply changing the pressure level in here. You won't be able to recreate this using the mouse. You need a graphic tablet to create this pressure, which will replicate like you are drawing on a paper. By the way guys, you have to switch on these pressure level icons in Photoshop. If not, you won't get the pressure level inside Photoshop. You have to activate, then the pen will send the pressure level data, which will then Photoshop calculate and apply into the stroke or the paint. When I deactivate this, even with the pen tablet, our strokes will behave like you are drawing using a mouse. So there is no pressure data. So Photoshop will simply draw only the basic strokes. All right, as you guys saw, in addition to the shortcut keys, there are also a wheel in the center, which is really cool feature in this tablet. You can simply press. As you can see in here, when I press, there are so many different settings coming up. So you can select with the wheel each of these settings. While you are doing the artwork, you can access them very easily without using the keyboard and mouse. For an example, if you want to change the hardness of the brush, you can simply change the settings in here. As you can see, when I change, the pressure level will react to the same, but the hardness of the brush is changing. Same goes to the size of the brush or any other settings like flow or smoothness, anything you can set up using these hotkeys. And guys, the pressure level is not only for the paint brush. You can use it to any tools inside the Photoshop like eraser or even for the blending tool, which is really, really useful when you are blending colors in Photoshop. As you can see in here, when I apply the same pressure level to the blending tool, based on my pressure level, the blendness, mixing with the colors everything is changing once you use this device for a while and once you get used to this this will really save a lot of time and you can create super cool artworks using photoshop or any other tools all right guys my final thoughts on this pen display Garmon pd 156 pro after using for a couple of days 
One of the biggest pro of this tablet is the screen size. It's almost same as most of the laptop devices and it has been designed for portable use. So if you are using uh, this device for office if you want to carry around the size of the display is important so this is just nice not too big not too small you can carry around at the same time it's the same size as regular laptop display screen sizes so, so it's easy to replicate the laptop screens to your pen device and you can draw on top even if you are using a larger screen at home like me for a while the different sizes may give you a little bit dimension issues but after using for a while i don't see any difference at all now i can just plug into a 4k display and work on it without any problem other thing is they have designed this tablet for portable use as i said so the tablet is very thin it's only 12.5 millimeter thick so it's really slim and also it's very light to carry around and most importantly, there is only one cable connecting to a device, which is really useful. If and you guys know some of these tablets comes with multiple cables, and we already have so many cables laying around, so it will become so messy. But this one, only one cable, easy to connect, just USB and HDMI. Third point is the pen itself. It's very light, very easy to use as an artist and also biggest pro for the pen is you don't have to charge. Some of these devices you have to charge these pens which is really annoying and also comes with additional nibs which you can replace over time. Another pro for me is the hotkeys and the wheel on the center, especially the wheel on the center. You can access so many settings and features using just the simple wheel and you don't even have to touch your mouse or keyboard while you are working on the artwork that is really a plus point when you are especially focusing on your artwork okay now the con wise the biggest con which i have found is there is a delay between the actual mouse pointer on top of the device and the pen itself there is a small side delay sometimes you won't actually get the exact point you are touching so this one sometimes really an issue but after using this device for a while now i don't find this a problem anymore because i got used to it but it is one of the con i found so far and the final thing is this is still an hd display i don't use hd display anymore i mean nowadays most of the designers don't use hd display they will use 4k or even 8k displays so that is one of the issues I'm having because I'm used to seeing 4K displays and when you have to work on the HD display, it's look to me as pixelated and all the icons look big. But this may be not a problem for everyone. But if you are used to 4K or bigger displays, you may need to consider that. And I don't know why nobody makes 4K tablets or oh, I, I haven't seen any 4K tablets yet. Alright guys, overall this device is really good for the price especially and the display is cool and the pen is really good and the size of the device is really good and there is not much con for this device and if you are interested in tablet you can check this one out and for me for this price is really worth it. If you guys want to purchase this device go to my link under the description below and uh, you can check it out. And thank you so much and thank you so much for watching see you guys in my uh, next video.